Hey everyone, so I thought I'd do a follow-up video, even though this didn't work out the way I thought. I'm probably going to get a little flaff from it, but I don't care. Um, the two, two trees on the right are, they're surviving, but not as well. So this didn't work out as well, all, the, all these are dead. But, this may have worked. The problem is, is I let them sit in the pots too long. All these tra trees right here. I let them sit in the pots when I bought them and these two I planted earlier so if I would have planted them as soon as I bought them and maybe soaked them in water this probably would have worked so didn't work out the way I thought I'm gonna pull out all these trees and I'm gonna leave these two and water them and see if they come back um, like I said these two I installed um, you know right after I bought them. These guys, I was too busy and I didn't get to install them, so that's probably why they died. So, so I'm going to pull these out and I'm going to water those, try and bring them back, and I'm going to plant some other other trees or I might try some more cedars in there. Uh, I had them running with a drip line. It seemed to work for a while, but not working now. So, uh, so I'll give you an update when I get the other trees in and uh, we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, this was just a test. Don't bash me. <laughs> um, I can see, you know, all comments coming already. Oh, they died. Well, not all of them died. There's two that are still there. And that's the story behind it. So, this may have worked if they were right from the shop. Uh, if you would have picked them up and, you know, gave them a good drowning in water and then, and then um, uh, buried them, they probably would have been okay. The other thing is, is I knocked off a lot of dirt on these ones to expose the roots. Probably shouldn't have done that, so don't do that. Make sure you keep a lot of the, a lot of the soil that comes with the trees. Yeah, so these are my neighbors, and uh, you can tell we've had a drought. So, you know, these were green last year, and uh, you can see how burnt they're getting. So, you know. Here's another example, my neighbors. These were really green last year, and now they're uh, they're dying. So, you know, I don't know if I had much chance with planting new and fresh ones. Here's another example. These ones are in a little better shape, but still they're uh, they're browning. These ones are in really good shape, except they're browning on the top. So you can tell we've just had a really really dry season. And here's another example right across the street from me. Um, this tree right here was a really nice shape last year. Really beautiful tree and now it's starting to, looks like it's starting to die. Uh, and then he's got little cedars here as well. They were doing really well and you can see how they're starting to brown. So another example. So I think the odds were kind of against me here. Uh, you know, I was also told by a nursery that um, if you buy the Costco ones, they, they don't have the root ball. They just dig them up quick and they don't have a big root ball. If you, if you want cedars to survive, you've got to have a big root ball. So you have to go to like a nursery and get them and order them. And they told me that cedars are the hardest tree to, to grow because they need so much water. And she said like they fill up three times a day they fill water up in a, in a bucket. Uh, so yeah, they're very difficult to grow. And just to show that I do have a bit of a green thumb, I planted this pear tree uh, roughly three years ago with my kids. And I dug around and I gave it lots of soil and that. Uh, it hasn't had a lot of water this year, but I picked up one of these root feeders and they work pretty good. You just uh, stick them in the ground got a little sharp end on it, stick it in the ground, hook your hose up to it and you can put fertilizer in here. So I've been using that to feed the roots. And in three years I had no pears and all of a sudden I had about six or seven pears this year on here. Some some of these the bugs got at them. But I actually ate about uh, two, yeah, two pears I ate off this tree this year. And uh, they have been they were really good, really juicy pears. So this has been doing really well and uh, even though it's been in a drought, uh, you know, giving it a bit of water did much better than the cedars have done. So, you know, my suggestion is, is 
if it's, cedars aren't working for you and you're not in a damp climate, you may want to go with a different route for, uh, for planting. So I've done well with this tree. I'm going to plant uh, a couple more of them. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you know how, how this goes and what I decide to do with the cedars if I decide to use something else to, uh, to grow there as a, as a privacy fence. Anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. And uh, give it a thumbs up, and stay tuned, subscribe, ciao for now.